one of the reasons of this strong growth that we are forecasting for Renault is obviously the electric cars. Uh, why we think uh, uh, we have an advantage on electric car? Uh, first, uh, in fact, we have it because today 50% of the cars sold, uh, electric cars sold in the world are made by the Alliance. Uh, Renault is leader in Europe, uh, with Zoe being the most sold electric car in, in Europe. And uh, objectively, when we look at why we are leader, uh, we think that the reasons for which we are leader today uh, are going to stay for a while, while all the other car manufacturers are coming to this technology. So we're, we're very, we think the market is going to be more, comp uh, more competitive, but we think also our offer is going to continue, in, uh, my, in my opinion, uh, to outpace competition. Um, battery cells are largely provi provided by Asian suppliers. Yeah. Um, what's your opinion about the need uh, for the EU to have some kind of Airbus of electric batteries? Yeah, well, you know, I, I don't think it's a must, but I think it's good. Why? Because uh, the automotive industry for Europe is such an important activity. Uh, I, there are some statistics showing that about 10% of the workforce in Europe work around the, the car industry. I'm talking not only about automakers, but suppliers of the automaker, distribution of cars, etc. So it's huge. So when you have a new technology coming, like electric cars, and the battery is the main component of electric car, and you don't have a supplier of, of, of batteries in Europe, it looks a little bit strange whenever it's such an important activity for the economy of Europe. So I'm personally very favorable to it. This being said, uh, it's not for the sake of making batteries, you need to make competitive batteries because you need to compete against the Korean, the Japanese, the Chinese who are investing massively on batteries. So what could it look like? This but it's a EU no, 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 I don't, I mean, this has to be a business. I mean, somebody, a supplier, need to take this as a business. He can be supported by EU, yes or no, but at the end of the day, he need to deliver a good battery with, at a competitive cost and as a, with, a good, with a good quality. That's the only way that the European car makers are going to be buying this battery versus others. This is all part of the big plan uh, that you unveiled last month for the Alliance uh, with uh, Renault, Nissan, Mitsubishi. Uh, Nissan currently is facing some issues uh, with this recall uh, in Japan, uh, affecting 1.16 million cars. Uh, who should take responsibility for the uncertified uh, inspections that may have occurred there? No, I'm, I'm not going to get into this question because I think you need mainly to address this question with the operational management of Nissan in place. It would not be fair for me from Paris when I'm launching the midterm plan of Renault to answer this kind of question. But as a chairman, you still obviously... Uh, oh, I have my opinion, but I'm not going to share it with you. Um, so, so you don't think this issue could have an impact on the alliance? I don't think so. What are you hearing on the French state's commitment uh, uh, to sell part of the 19.7% uh, stake in Renault? Uh, the finance minister Bruno Le Maire uh, recently said he wasn't managing to sell the shares because the price was too low. Yeah. So uh, what so are you hearing? Are you no, discussing options with the government? If your question is, is it shaking my confidence on the fact that they will sell? Not at all. I, I'm totally confident that they will, which is totally normal to say, okay, they, they will when economically this would make sense for them uh, and I, I take it as such but, but this absolutely do not uh, shake my confidence on the fact that the French government will honor its, uh, its word to, to sell uh, this additional share that they bought of 4.7 percent of Renault. But this might take more time? Yeah. Do you know how long or do you know? No, it will be up, it will be up to them to decide but frankly I, uh, that's not an issue for us. This is, as long as we have the statement that they will sell and we trust it, the uh, problem is over.